Today we will show you how to install the Yuzu emulator early access on Android. In the previous video I tried the regular version of Yuzu emulator. Now I'm gonna try the paid version. Today's video is our step by step tutorial and in this video we are going to cover how to install Yuzu emulator, initial step guide, install production keys, game installation at the last, configuration settings and test. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. What's up guys this is Pro Warriors. For those who are new here at first let me explain Yuzu an emulator for Android that enables you to run and play your favorite hybrid consoles game on your smartphone. Yuzu emulator has two different versions available in the Play Store. The regular one which is free and early access build which is cost four dollars yuzu early access is an improved little bit stronger version you can enjoy your favorite nintendo switch games in 4k up to 60 fps before we get started make sure you have enough storage space on your android device for the system files the first things we need to do is download and install the yuzu emulator on our android phone you can find it directly on the google Play Store. In the search results, if you can find the early access version, open the regular version, then click on the Team Yuzu. Then here you can see the Yuzu early access, which is YOLO logo. To download this application, it will be cost four dollars. But if you want to get this application, you can join our Discord server. Once you have downloaded and installed the app, let's go ahead and open it up. Yuzu will welcome us. Then click on Get Started. Then we have to grab and permission to allow notification from Yuzu. Now what they will ask you to do is give your production ID or production keys. You might be wondering where you will get this. Just open a browser and search for Yuzu production keys. I'm not going to give you any direct link because it will be against to the YouTube community guidelines. If you search as I said you can find it by yourself. After downloading the case click on select keys then go to the folder in your your file manager and select the production case. Immediately a note will be displayed that keys have been successfully installed. Now tap on next button. After that it's going to ask you to identify the games folder which user will automatically detect and show in the game library. So tap on the add games and then go to the file manager and navigate to the game folder. Wait a minute now you might be wondering where I get these games and which games you should download for Yuzu emulator. Yuzu has released a compatibility game list I have given the link in the description from this list you will get thousands of games that are playable in the Yuzu emulator another common question which website do I use to download Yuzu games it's very simple choose a game from the compatibility list then open your browser and at first write the game name then write NSP NSP is the format name you just have to download the NSP file of that game I think now you can easily download games there are several sources for that. After downloading the file, make sure you have unzip it, then move it to the game folder. Now tap on the use this folder, which is at the bottom of the page, and it will allow Yuzu to have access to this folder. Its system has already set the primary configuration, so click on the continue button. Here is our game list. Before we are going to play any games, let's configure the settings. Click on the gear icon which is at the bottom right corner. Now click on advanced settings. Open the general option. I suggest you to turn off limit speed option. Leave CPU accuracy at auto or you can try accurate. Now open the system. If your device is not good enough then disable docked mode. In the graphics option you can configuration, resolution, orientation and expect ratio. Now go back to the main settings. Here is an option to install the GPU driver. I will include the custom GPU driver download link in the description. There will be several types of driver according to the device specification. Only the Snapdragon processor can use the custom GPU. I'm using Mali so that's why I didn't get that option. Now let's play the game. To be honest the gaming experience is so good. It's quite better than the regular version as well as the Skyline and Agnes emulator. You will start playing on Nintendo Switch even you have it. Please like 
like and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video take care